Hi everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the 2021 year ahead forecast for life path number twos. This is, of course, a general reading. So if you would like a personal reading where we take a look at your personal energies, then please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. Okay, so twos. 2021 is a universal five energy year. So where 2020 was a four universal year uh, that was all about systems and or breaking down systems and breaking down foundations and structures that no longer served and creating the space for rebuilding that which does. Now we move into this five universal energy year that's all about exploration from the ashes. And so what I love about that is that you get to choose how to rebuild okay and with five energy there's often this core energy of change and redirection but what we need to keep in mind as we move through 2021 because there probably will be a lot of changes and redirections um, because again we're in uncharted territory and so it's like we are starting from scratch basically we're starting from zero and so we need to build accordingly and so you know, but as those changes and redirects come in, we just need to remind ourselves that they're coming in for a reason. They're coming in to highlight, you know, a new direction, a way that is much more aligned for us to move into. And so the less that we fight it and the more that we surrender to it and allow it to highlight for us what we need to, to know, then the more we can utilize that energy and harness it for our movement forward. So expect a lot of changes and redirects, but again, for our highest good. Continue this year to find your own inner balance, to be mindful of falling within the extremes. So twos, you guys, your energy, your core energy is all about balance. It's all about, you know, being the mediator, finding the balance within a situation, helping others to see all sides of the situation, not just one extreme. And so again, This energy is right up your alley where it comes to finding your own inner balance and your own equilibrium. And I think that's going to be a really strong theme, especially for twos this year, to find that inner balance that works for you so that you can help others to find their balance and to find their own equilibrium and to be that mediator that's that's so at the core of your your, uh, energy, okay? So just keep that in mind. That's sort of the overall energy for the year as far as for uh, numerology. But I did pull a animal spirit card for you all just to kind of see what the animal spirits have to say for the overall energy for two specifically. And you guys got mountain goat. And I love that. I love mountain goat. There's so much perseverance when it comes to the goat and you know what's the one thing that the goat has to do when they're scaling a mountain and when they're they're teetering on the edge of a cliff to get food what's the one thing that they have to do they have to have balance right so so again this is going to be such a big theme for you guys this this year i think but what mountain goat says his message is there's something out of balance within your life So do whatever you need to, to correct it. So again, I think that that's going to be a really strong theme for twos in 2021 is finding your balance and moving away from those polarizing extremes that just doesn't suit your energy. And when you fall into those polar extremes, you're out of alignment. And so you're going to see the energies come through this year for you to to help you find what your balance is, right? Because your balance is gonna be different than somebody else's. It's about finding your own truth and your own equilibrium and then allowing the actions that you take to to move from that space, okay? So, all right, and so I'm gonna break it down for each month of the year and we'll see the energies that are coming in. And so for January, what's really interesting is, again, just highlighting this theme, it's, It's this energy of releasing the extremes, releasing what doesn't serve you. But but again, it's those thoughts, I feel like. I feel like it's really, I mean, it could be physical for a lot of people as well. Like if you're in a relationship or something like that, and it's it's creating imbalance for you, then of course that needs to be, you know, one final purge, one final release of that. 
But it's interesting because the energy is very similar to the five of cups in tarot. And it's like releasing what you need to release and then coming back to the two of cups, right? That balance. And so again, I really feel like this is going to be a theme for you guys this year fully um, because you guys need to be within balance so that you can help others to do that, all right? And so in January, I feel like there's going to be this, this energy of the need to release those thought patterns, those extreme behaviors, those, those things you keep showing up for that are pushing you out of balance or keeping you from being in alignment. And you know what these are. And so again, if it's a relationship, if it's a job, if it's an addiction, if it's, you know, some kind of crutch that you keep leaning on, if it's a way of thinking or a way of treating others, right? So how are your, what are your actions? How do your actions look? Are they extreme or are they in balance? So again, there's going to be this opportunity to really come back to yourself, body, mind, and spirit, and take a close look at how you want to start this year off, how you want to sort of, what energy you want to step into in January that will help you to move back into alignment. And again, alignment with self, not alignment with those that, you know, want to influence your alignment, but, but finding your truth for yourself and those areas where you are living in an extreme to come back to the center. Because remember, two energy, which is your core, is all about what? <laughs> balance. So again, and it's like helping others to come back into balance. So I really feel like January is going to be like this, uh, major bright spotlight on those areas that you know what you're trying to hold on to and they're just not working anymore and they're just not serving you and it's kind of like one final release one final purge so that you can turn around and see those two cups still standing and and really put your focus and energy there so again put your focus and your energy starting in January <laughs> on finding your own equilibrium, on finding the balance. What makes sense for you? What, what feels good and aligned for you? That's not saying we're not going to have challenges, that we're not going to have things come up to, because remember, five energy is all about change and redirections, and that's never necessarily easy. So, so again, it's about, you know, facing those challenges, facing those, those things that come up that try to highlight for you where some redirection needs to take place and where some um, a final release, a final purge needs to take place so that you can come back into equilibrium. And that's interesting because as you move into February, you have this energy of like, it's like January, you know, you kind of have that that internal, you know, final purge type thing. You have It's a lot of in, inner reflection and um, or introspection and going within and doing that final purge. But then you step into February and you're like, okay, here I am. I'm standing in my truth. I know what I stand for. I know what I believe in. And I know the actions that I need to take to move towards that, right? And that's not about influencing others or changing others. That has nothing to do with trying to change others' perspectives or change others' actions. Because remember, we can't really do that. I mean, others have to do that for themselves, but we can do that for ourselves. And then when we're standing in our throne, standing in our truth, then we are much more capable of offering perspectives that are coming from a place of balance and equilibrium as opposed to extremes. And then others can choose whether or not they are on board or they're not. And that's fine. But there's this energy in February for twos <clears throat> that's very much about <clears throat> standing in your truth, standing in your power, knowing who you are and being like, okay, this is what I stand for. I feel very aligned, masculine and feminine, feminine energies from within, and I'm ready to move forward. I'm, I see clearly now. And again, there's just this really strong sense of clarity coming in. And it's not coming from a place that's ego driven. It's coming from a place that's balanced between the intuition, the soul and the ego and the mind. Okay. So that's really powerful energy for twos because twos can sometimes be very indecisive. And, you know, in February, it almost feels like this very decisive energy coming in, <clears throat> but coming in through you. So it's like in those places before where you would have been stricken with fear because you're so indecisive, it's like now you're like, okay, I know who I am. Like I know what rings true for me. And I know that I need to take action from that space. And so it's just like 
sort of this feeling of regaining your your own inner power in in February. And I do feel like for some of you, there's going to be changes associated with that, of course, because it's like the more we step into our inner knowing and our own truth, then those things that no longer sort of are aligned with that truth will fall away. And so there is change associated with that. And so I do feel like there's going to be some changes and redirections come February, but it's helping you, it's supporting you in this newfound truth of, that, that you have of yourself, okay? <clears throat> so it's a really, really powerful energy and you just need to harness that energy. Then we move into March and it's interesting because again, balance is coming in really strongly for you all. And so it's almost like there's this opportunity for things to feel a little hectic in March for you or a little overwhelming, but that's only because you may have fallen into an extreme again. And so again, for twos, it's like for all humans, but for twos, especially a big part of your journey is kind of moving in and out of balance. And so it's kind of like where your challenges, challenges and obstacles come in for you usually has to do with those extremes. Like you've fallen into an extreme and you need to come back into balance. And so I feel like for March for you all, there's going to be, that's where you're going to see your challenges and your obstacles surface is around where you are taking on too much or, you know, not showing up or, you know, falling into more of like, um, <clears throat> I don't like to use the word lazy, but you know what I mean? Like you're just kind of like not showing up to your experience <clears throat> or you're showing up too much to it, or you are taking on belief systems that are way to the extreme, right? Those, po those polarities. And it's kind of like, again, with that two energy, with that being your core and with the five energy raging, right, for 2021, it's all about the balance. And so again, if you need to delegate, delegate. If you're taking on other people's energy, then you need to transmute that and release it, right? Twos, twos are very, very empathetic, or um, very, very uh, empathic, okay? And so you guys sometimes will take on the energy of others without even knowing it, and you'll just be feeling these emotions and you're not sure where they're stemming from. And so again, it's 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 coming back and doing that that introspection and recognizing what's yours and what's somebody else's and releasing what's not yours to carry. So again, if you're in that extreme or if you find yourself in your extreme in March where you're like, okay, I'm taking on everybody's stuff, <laughs> then this is your opportunity to to release that, give it back to the other person. It's not your lesson to learn, it's not your lesson to to overcome, it's theirs, and so give it back to them. And so I do feel like the theme around March for twos is really going to be hyper-focused on balance and, and finding your own balance based on your own inner knowing and not through the influence of another, right? So again, it's like you may find opportunities where you have to be decisive come March, and that can be difficult sometimes for a two. And so again, but it's strengthening that that muscle so that the indecisiveness falls away. Because the more that you can follow your own inner truth, the more you can follow your own inner compass, the more decisive you become. Because you know your own truth, you know your path. So that feels like a very, very big theme for March for you all. As we move into April, there's this, this feeling of this opportunity to um, offer forgiveness to another. And, you know, this feels very, very energetic. So it's, it's almost like it's not that you're going to be with that person to offer that um, that forgiveness or to have that conversation. Although for some of you, it may be physical and that opportunity will come up and it's up to you what you do with it. But for a lot of you, this feels like um, another piece of the puzzle to help you move forward on your journey. And so it's kind of like, again, if there were past hurts, if there were past indiscretions, if there were things that happened to you or, you know, happened with another person, then this is a, an opportunity to energetically forgive them and to release that energy, release that person, right? It's like if it's not currently happening, happening to you in this moment, in the present moment, then it's not something that needs to continue to occupy your energy field, right? It's something that you need to find a way to truly find forgiveness for whatever this was and release it because it's taking up space that doesn't need to be there, all right? 
So I feel like, you know, and again, this could, this feels very, very energetic, but it could be for some of you very physical. And so it could be that somebody from your past resurfaces and offers you an apology or offers you an opportunity for reconnection or forgiveness or whatever, you know, but it's this opportunity for you to take a step back and to look at who you are in this moment, look at who the other person is in this moment, if this is relevant, if it's physical, right? If they come to you or if you go to them, it's not about continuing to drudge up the old, the past and the past hurts and keep living through that. It's about looking at where you're at in the moment now in the, the present and seeing does it serve you in any way to continue to hold this grudge, to continue to hold on to this this resentment or this anger or this pain or whatever it is. So this is a really big month for you all to release that energy, however you need to do that. It's not that you're forgetting it or that you're saying it never happened or you're, you know, avoiding it or whatever. It's quite the opposite. You're bringing it up so that you can fully acknowledge it and move through it and in turn find that forgiveness that you need to find so that you can move forward because it's like that baggage that you keep carrying with you that's just not you don't even use it you haven't opened that that baggage for years and so why is it still here you know what I mean and so I feel like there's an opportunity come April where you're going to be able to move through that and truly find some relief from that so that it's no longer bogging you down then we move into May and really, really beautiful, powerful energy of self-expression, creativity, and manifestation. And I love that, you know, for me, I always say like manifestation is about, you know, thinking about what you want, like really honing in on that, like really shifting your focus so that your energy is really focused, hyper-focused on it, right? And then showing up you know, with manifestations, sometimes in the new age community or in the metaphysical community, we often say like, oh, you can manifest whatever you want. Just focus your energy there. And that's a big piece of it. That's a very, very big piece of it. But it's multi-layered. It's like you also have to show up intentionally and continue to put forth the effort to be able to manifest, right? It's kind of like the the energy piece of it, the the um focusing your energy that's the metaphysical side but remember we're humans we are in matter form so guess what we're in the physical a 3d plane so there is a physical aspect to manifestation we need to show up in the physical we need to take intentional action to move towards that which we want to manifest and so again that is really a big theme for may i feel like for twos it's like those things that you want to create, those things that you want to bring within to your reality, you know, how are you showing up to make that happen? And so this is an opportunity in May to reflect upon that and then to figure out the action steps that you need to take and then take them. You have that power this month, right? It's like you're beginning the, in, the inspiration and the downloads from source, from your higher consciousness, from your soul. And it's what you do with that energy in the physical that's going to make the difference. Because again, those those ideas, those inspirations can, can come in for you. But if you don't take the intentional action, if you don't show up, guess what? Nothing happens. And so, or rarely happens. Sometimes, you know, we can think about things and focus our energy there and they will show up. I mean, that does happen. I've seen it happen and I've experienced it myself. But for the most part, you know, we have to show up in some way. We have to make some sort of effort, even if that's with the mind, but we have to make the effort. And so I feel like for May, for twos, it's going to be like, what do you want to create and what actions are you taking to create that? Okay. And you have the power to do that. You have all the tools that you need. You've, you've lightened the load from the, you know, you've forgiven what you need to forgive and you've, you've. Um, release the baggage that was holding you back. And it's like, now you're kind of like, all right, what do I want? What do I want to create? What, you know, we have, we're in this five energy universal year of exploration from the ashes and you get to choose what you want to build. So what are you going to build? Okay. And so May feels like this, you'll be seeing these different ideas and inspirations and motivations coming in for you and maybe new opportunities. And it's like, how do you, how do you fit into that, that energy? And so that's where the exploration comes into play in May. 
and then what you do with it. So remember, you're in the driver's seat here, so you get to choose. And then we move into June, and it's interesting because there's kind of like this, this um, I don't know, the word that comes up is like the world is your oyster. <laughs> and so it's kind of like you've got all this creative life force running through you, and it's like you. I feel like you're going to see a lot of support coming in for you. You're going to have a lot of... Um, um, open space to create basically. So it's kind of like the support comes in and the universe kind of gets behind you and conspires to, to help you create what it is that you want to create. But it's like all these new opportunities coming in, um, people showing up out of nowhere to assist you or to help you or to be supportive or to offer you new um, experiences or new opportunities. And again, it's what you do with that. Um, that matters because all these opportunities can come in for you. But if you don't say yes to them out of fear, then again, they're not going to go anywhere. So you're in the driver's seat here, but it does feel like, um, it also feels like this completion of, um, self doubt. I mean, you twos are always going to struggle with that. I think humans struggle with that quite a bit, but it's like those, those things that were kind of holding you back. It's kind of like, you feel very free from that and very light from that. And it's like, everything kind of opens up. It's very five energy in that way. It's like everything becomes very, very expansive and opens up. And it's like, you feel like you just have so much room to move and, and explore and decide what it is you want to do next. And so again, I do feel like there will be new relationships showing up for you, more new friends, new acquaintances, these people who are like sort of part of your soul family showing up to um, help you forward and help you kind of um, decide what it is that you want to create, okay? And what you want to rebuild. Because remember, it's like, you know, I don't think anybody came out of 2020 unscathed or, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like you're moving into this 2021 energy, the age of Aquarius, and it's like you get to decide what you build. And so, but what's beautiful about it, it's like if you harness that energy, then you'll start to see the external mimic that that energy and you'll start to see the people show up who can help you so i do feel like june is going to be that for you kind of like this again just clean slate wide open spaces to run free and explore and just go on an adventure if you want to and it's all part of that sort of r d right research and development of body mind spirit so powerful energies uh and then we move into july and it's kind of like July is really beautiful. It's this energy of like feeling like you're on the right path, feeling like you you have a vision, you're moving towards that vision. Things feel very, very um, connected. So it's like you're connected to your higher self, to the spiritual side of yourself, but you're also very grounded and you know the direction you want to move into. It's almost like this, this opportunity for your wishes to be granted and you just feel like you are full steam ahead, nothing standing in your way. And um, things feel like they're really falling into place for you in July. Um, and yeah, so you feel, and again, you know, what's interesting is like, if <laughs> July feels very, very balanced. So again, it's like you have found your own equilibrium. And I, and I say that because it's kind of like, you're not following, um, the north star of others you're following your own internal north star and through that you're finding your own equilibrium your own equilibrium and that's the that's the magic that's the key right so july feels like just really beautiful very very beautiful energy of alignment and things feeling like you know what you're on the right path things just sort of magically appearing and magically happening for you and the doors opening and that sort of thing that kind of energy so take advantage of it right don't feel unworthy or anything like that or try not to and if you find yourself feeling unworthy then you know nip that in the bud and and embrace this beautiful energy of synchronicities happening right that I love synchronicities synchronicities are those cues from to show us that 
that our divine self, our soul is in the driver's seat at all times. It knows what's up, okay? So it's like when we, when you see those synchronicities in July, that's your reminder that you're on the right path and everything is moving really, really well. You just need to be accepting of that energy and embrace it. Then we move into August. And it's interesting because it's like, I see twos really coming into their own um, in a big way in 2021. Like, you know, where twos could sometimes be very influenced by others, very influenced by the external. It's almost like you're really coming into your own and you're like, you know, being influenced by others is exhausting. I ha- Following my own inner light is where it's at. And I really see twos coming into that power in 2021. And as we move into August, it's like, it feels like for a lot of you, you've got this really beautiful balance at this point in time. It's like in July, you really step into this, this balanced energy. And in August, you're able to do something with that energy. And so you're really, um, again, you're like at, at the helm of uh, your own ship, right? So I use this example in a previous one of the other numbers readings, but it's like, where before and maybe in 2020 and years prior, you felt like a ship who was out at sea struggling with the waves, right? And that somebody else was in control of your boat. It's like now you're stepping into this energy where you are like, forget this, and you take back the reins and you're at the helm of the ship. And no matter what chaos is happening on the external, you're solid. You're back to your center. You feel really balanced. You've balanced the divine feminine, divine masculine, or at least you're on the path to that. And you're sitting in your ship and you are able to maneuver the waves whenever they come in. And so it's this energy of like fast movement forward, but because you have done the work and because you feel whole and because you know your own truth and you, your truth does not harm another, but it allows you to move forward in a very, um, the, in your high, within your highest expression. And so again, that's really what August feels like. It's like, you're just like, okay, I'm done. Like letting these waves influence my journey. I'm taking back control of my ship and I'm at the helm. And that's what this feels like. So however that comes in, that can be like you taking back your power over relationships, over, um, over those who you have felt have had power over you, over a job situation, whatever the situation is. But it's really like, you know what? I'm standing in my power and my movement forward is going to come from this space now. So that's kind of what August feels like. It's like, you go, all right? You got this. (laughs) And then we move into September. And it's interesting. It's kind of like for some of you, there's there's this offer of some some real stability that you haven't had in a while coming in real strong stability this feels like it's been um a process this feels like it's taken a lot of time to get to and it could be that it's something that you've been working on um, for a while and now it's starting to feel very very stable and feeling very very secure or it's something that is sort of just coming in for you but that has the potential to be very very secure and stable for you. Um, It feels material. um, It feels like it's in the material world. It feels very physical. So it can be a relationship, can be something like that, can be about career, can be about, you know, just depends, but it's an opportunity coming in. And it's either you, I mean, you're going to be assisting with this as well. Obviously, you're a part of this, but it's it's either you making this offer of stability or the stability coming in for you, but I feel like it's coming in for you. I feel like it's like 2021 is, a, is so much about twos finding their balance. And up into September, it's really like you stepping into that power of knowing your own worth, knowing your own power, knowing your own truth. And it's like, come September, it's like, once you've, you're you standing firm in that, now these beautiful offers are coming in for you that are, that are helping you to be um, very stable and feel very, very secure as you continue to explore. And so, but again, this is, this is not fast moving energy. This is something that's going to take time and kind of to build that legacy. So again, we're in that five energy. So it's like, this may be the opportunity to start something that's really uh, monumental within your life. That's going to take some time to fully build and come to fruition, but this is a beautiful starting point. And so pay attention to the opportunities that come in for you in September. Um, it feels very passion driven, but it feels very, very stable as well. And so it feels very, guess what? Balanced. (laughs) So 
beautiful energy in September. Then we move into October. And what's interesting is I'm really getting this sense of, a, well, a lot of different things are coming in. This idea of union, so union with self, union with others, healing uh, past relationships that have been broken, but that weren't necessarily meant to be broken. Um, and this could have to do with back in April where you had that judgment, that sort of like forgiveness energy. Um, this could be that sort of coming full circle back in, you know, here now in October, where there's that healing energy of seeing eye to eye, of working with another person, collaborating with another person, but on a really deeper level. Like this feels like soulmate energy. And remember, soulmates can be workmates, friends, family, whatever. They're these, they are energetic connections that are meant to help us on our path forward. And so for some of you, it may be that you are meeting a soulmate. You may be um, uniting with a soulmate. You might be uh, taking a relationship to another level, marriage, having children, however it comes in for you, um, or, you know, engagement, whatever. But it's this it's this real healing energy and coming to be, together energy. And so, and this feels very much around relationships and emotional uh, energy. So, and this could also be you coming back to yourself. Again, this, this 2021 feels very, very uh, internally transformative for two energy. So, but again, it's about reclaiming your power in 2021 and finding your own truth. And so, uh, again, October feels like in oper a lot of opportunities coming in to mend those relationships that need mending and healing those energies that need healing and coming together. And again, it feels very much like soulmate energy. So um, yeah, however that comes in for you. Um, but it is this it is very much to energy. It is very much about seeing eye to eye and being the bridge and being the mediator. So it may not necessarily even be you doing this with a relationship uh it may be that that this is that energy of finding the balance from within and now you're helping others to find that balance so again a lot of ways it could come in because it's a general reading but interesting very much about uh october is your month for really embodying your two energy of balance and uh, community and coming together so and then we move into november for you all and it's interesting because it's 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 really this beautiful energy of moving forward within your truth and i keep using that 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 word but it's it it does it feels like this 2021 is such an opportunity for twos to really step into their own truth to step into their own inner knowing and break out into the world as this is me this is who i am and no apologies for that so November feels like this opportunity for change, but change that's going to um, push you into push you into the future in a really powerful way where you're standing firm in your own knowing and your own truth in clarity. And so I do feel like in November, there could be some major clarity coming in for you, um, but it's only helping you to move forward towards your vision, towards your goals, right? So a lot of clarity, a lot of truth, a lot of, again, sitting at the throne of your own truth coming in in November and without apology. So again, that really um, decisive energy coming in where it's like if a decision needs to be made, you feel very confident in making a decision based off how you feel and what feels true for you. So love that energy for twos. <clears throat> and then we move into December and it's interesting because I have a couple of, of different energies coming out for December for you all. And it's kind of it's really beautiful. It's, and again, it's this balance, right? So you have this energy of sort of looking back over the year to see how far you've come, looking back really over 2020 and now 2021 to see how far you've come, how much you've grown, how much you've stepped into your own power and how you become able to recognize your own truth and your own inner strength um, and being able to tap into that inner strength. And one thing I'll say is like for twos, because you can sometimes be when you're out of alignment, you can be hypersensitive or moody or, um, you know, your emotions can be in control of you. And I feel like 2021 is going to be this opportunity to really get those in check, to get that those energies in check and again, balanced 
so that you are you have that inner strength to be able to show up to relationships in a very balanced, harmonious way so that you have the opportunity to do that for yourself as well. So there's this energy in December of, you know, really have have having grown to exponential um, levels, right? And being able to harness that inner strength when, when you need it. So you're no longer reactionary. You're no longer, or you're very, very, um, you're less often reactionary and you're able to show up to relationships and to yourself in a very, uh, a much stronger, much more evolved way. And there's, there's, and this other side of that is like this energy of like just celebration and just really being, feeling really jovial and, free, you know, which is also five energy. Five energy is like that room to breathe, that room to move and expand and explore. And so I feel like December is kind of like this opportunity for you to really celebrate the person that you have become because you're no longer that person you were that stepped into 2021 in January. You have really evolved in a lot of ways. You know, if you work with the energy and you harness the energy uh, the way that it's it's trying to come in for you throughout this year, then the person that you are at this time in December is somebody who you were not when you stepped into this year. Um, and that's cause for celebration because it just means that you fully, you know, you've more evolved, you've more stepped into who you are and who you came here to be, and you're more aligned with your purpose um, that we're meant to show up to daily. So a lot of really beautiful energies uh, this year for you to So, but again, remember, Mountain Goat's message, which is there's at the beginning of the year, there's something out of balance in your life. So do whatever you need to do to correct it. And honestly, uh, twos, I do feel like 2021, this is your year to correct those imbalances. And there's always going to be challenges and um, things that come in for us that try to move us out of alignment and try to move us out of balance. But when we have the tools to stay in alignment, then it's it's more often that we we are not out of we don't fall out of a out of alignment for too long, and so I feel like twenty twenty one is really giving you those tools to be able to recognize and create your own balance and equilibrium, and then to be able to move back into that equilibrium when things surface that try to push you out of it. Okay, so I hope that it is a powerful, transformative, beautiful twenty twenty one for you twos, and take care for now.